Hello, Chase and Sam. Okay, so here, and anybody else who missed class that I'm not remembering. So this is what we did in class um, on Friday. We did kind of like a chat with notes where it was kind of a, a back and forth thing. Um, so I thought I'd give you a little recap to make sure that you understood what happened. Okay. So you're going to want to put, uh, you're going to want to take a piece of paper, um, white paper, or I, I prefer com just computer paper, but if you don't have that, then just lined paper will do. And you're going to fold it in half like this, the hamburger way, I guess you could say. And this is going to be kind of like a reference sheet that we're going to use a lot in this class later. So it's something that you want to be very uh, neat and orderly so that it's easy to read later. So don't do this quickly. Slow down. Um, and if you need to pause at any point in this video, then just pause and catch up, go find your paper, whatever. You're gonna wanna write special products on top and then the numbers one through seven going down the side. Um, we're gonna be using this for factoring later on and for product stuff. Uh, this is A minus B times A plus B. Okay, so the first one we're doing is A minus B times A plus B, and we're going to just find like a general formula for what that turns out to be, and then we're going to um, uh, use it when we factor going this way, and when we multiply, which is going that way later on. And we're going to use this probably like around uh, Wednesday, so make sure by Wednesday you have this correct. Um, I'm going to tell you all the answers today, but you're going to have to do a little bit of the work on your own. And if you make any mistakes, then you just need to email me and take a picture of what you're doing so far, or text me, I think both of you have my phone number, and just show me what you're doing. Um, okay, so on the inside, or on the back, whatever you want, is where we're going to show all of our work. So the front remains clean and a good sheet for um, showing off what we need. In fact... This is going to drive me crazy. Okay. There we go. So on the inside, I've got A minus B times A plus B. And I'm going to put that into a little Punnett square, or you could do foiling if you prefer. Either way, you'll get the same answer. We're doing A minus B and A plus B. And A times A is A squared. And A times negative B is negative AB. A times positive B is AB, and negative B times B is negative B squared. So this one, um, if I've got a positive 1AB and a negative 1AB, these cancel each other out, and I'm left with A squared minus B squared, which is my answer. And then on the front side, which remember is my reference for the future, I'm going to write A squared minus B squared. All right, the next one we're going to do is a plus b in parentheses and then a square on the outside. Now, you can't just distribute distribute the square to both of them. Um, sorry, I've been so far away. My bad. Um, <clears throat> you can't distribute the square to both of them uh, because if it was like a problem like this, if it was like um, a, b squared like that, um, that you could totally distribute the square to both and that would be a squared b squared. Um, but if you have a plus b squared, that is actually a plus b times a plus b, which requires you to FOIL or to do that Punnett square. So we're gonna do that on the second page. That's a plus b times a plus b. Let's see. So I get a squared, and then this one's a b, and this one's also a b, and this one's b squared. I know I'm going fast, but if this is too fast for you, then just hit pause. Um, this is 1 a b, and this is 1 a b, so together they make 2 a b. Like that. Okay. So going back to the front side, that is a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. 
Again, this is just going to be a reference sheet for you for later. Um, I'm going to jump down to the fourth one and help you out. Let's see. The fourth one is uh, a plus b cubed. Okay, again, you can't distribute the cube um, because that's actually a plus b times a plus b times a plus b. So in here, um, a plus b times a plus b times a plus b. Well, if you multiply these first two together, we, we just did that, right? It's right there, and we know this was the answer. So I'm just going to write down the answer right there because we already did the work. And then it's our job to multiply that result by this one that's still left. Because these two are this. We just proved it up here. And this one goes there. So now when we do like a Punnett square, it's really more like a Punnett rectangle. And this is a squared here, 2ab, b squared, and a plus b. So a times a squared is a cubed. 2ab times a is 2a squared b. a times b squared is ab squared. a squared times b is a squared b. 2ab times b is 2ab squared. And b squared times b is b to the, b to the third power. Okay, so this is 2a squared b. This is 1a squared b. This is 2ab squared. This is 1ab squared. Okay, so that equals a cubed plus 3a squared b plus 3ab squared plus b cubed. And again, the order that you put these in doesn't really matter um, because uh, I don't know, it just normally they put it like the high, like a comes before b and a is so the third is the highest power, and that's the way they order it. But really, you can add things in any order, so it doesn't really matter what order you put down. Um, this one is a cubed plus 3a squared b plus 3ab squared plus b cubed. Okay? So that's all of them that I'm going to do with you. Um, the other seven are up to you. Sorry, I guess the other four. For a total of seven. So right now I'm going to write out for you um, what the other ones are and you're going to do these yourself. This is the part of the interactive part of class that we had on Friday where we basically just broke off for 15 minutes for everybody to try to do this themselves before coming back. Um, and again, if you make mistakes here, it's okay because we're going to talk about it on Tuesday and Wednesday or you guys can just send me a picture on text and say, I'm not getting the right answer. What am I doing wrong? Please do it. I don't want you un misunderstanding or not figuring out how to do this. Just talk to me and I will help you. So um, here are the problems. Now's a good time to pause the video and try to multiply them out yourself. Show all your work um, on the inside or on the back sheet. Again, leave that front side pristine so that you have just the answers on there. That'll be easier. I am quickly going to write out the answers now so that you can compare and see if you did it right. So make sure you're pausing before you check out the answers. Here we go. All right, that's all of them, so you're probably going to want to pause again and compare them to your work, and then maybe text me and ask me questions about what you're doing wrong if you're not getting those answers. And again, keep this sheet because we'll be using it on a later date. Okay, here, one more time, just for that pause. Okay, the next thing we did was we talked about another basic kind of factoring. Um, which is how to factor quadratics that don't have a number in front of them, a quadratic, something with an x squared, and a number in front of it would be like 3x squared plus something else. 
Um, so the first thing we did was I had, and you probably remember this from with me if you took algebra with me, uh, the x problems. So you're going to draw three x problems on your paper. And um, then you're going to write out um, the, these, this number here, 25 and 10. So this is kind of like a game in preparation on how to do factoring. Um, so what you have to do right now is you have to try to think of two numbers that multiply to get 25, but add